I can't believe that we've got to that time of year already, but we have. It's time to start thinking about our beans. Now, the principles I'm going to show you here today will be suitable for most climbing beans, whether that's uh, runner beans, French beans, dwarf beans, whichever ones you want to have climbing up sticks or other um, bits and pieces that you put in the garden for them to climb. But most people start their beans off indoors in pots. Let me show you how. So, just as an example, I've actually put some compost in there and I've got my trusty seed pot with my seed beans that we gathered last year. Now we've got some that are red and some that are white. They are different varieties. They do have two very different pretty flowers when they actually come into fruit, uh, but the beans themselves um, taste the same. So we pop those in. We do try to just have a little bit of variety just so that it looks nice in the garden as well. So we pop those in there. Slippery. A couple more. And we'll keep those moist and for the time being indoors. Perhaps a little bit more of an environmental way of doing things is to use paper. This is some re recycled paper that I've made into a little pot and you just put the compost in there together with your seed, let it grow in exactly the same way and then you can plant these straight into the ground when they're big enough. Let me show you how to make one. It's very straightforward. I've just got some paper here from one of the local rags and i am cut it to roughly 10 by 10 inches or 25 centimetres across and I'm going to just make this little pot. So you fold it across the diagonal in half, fold it the point in, turn it over and again fold the point in and then take the two points at the top and fold them down because that helps keep it in place. Open it out and it's ready for the compost. Just general purpose compost, nothing special. There we go. Let's take out some of the lumps. Take one of the seeds. into there, cover it over and I'm going to put mine into a tray just so that you can actually get them all standing up. I'll fill up the tray. We will actually use these as spares. We actually plant our beans straight into the ground and we normally do that around about the first week in May. So this is where we intend to put the runner beans this year. Uh, as you can see, we have to clear the purple sprouting and prepare the ground. I'll insert here the pictures of last year's planting of our runner beans so that you can see how we go about it. And if you're enjoying these videos, please don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you're told whenever we make a new upload. And so on to the serious stuff of actually putting the bean sticks in. As you can see, Dax is not only keeping an eye on things, he's also making sure that all the stones are removed and put in his little special place. So here we are, the sticks are all in and are being held together very loosely at the moment before the stays across the top are put on. This is there to stabilise the sticks as the beans go up them. It's held together with string. We use an ordinary garden string, which is nice and user friendly, but it's also something the sparrows like. They tend to pick bits off of it and take off to their nests. Anyway, that's the bean sticks put in. As you can see, the ground is just about ready for the beans. And so on to the next stage, and as you can see, this has been very carefully monitored by our little Jack Russell Dax. 
The beans that we're using are ones that we grew last year, in fact, and we took the seeds from the plants, carefully overwintered them in a nice dry place, and then the night before we wanted to plant them, we just soaked them in water. As you can see, the beans are being planted straight into the ground. Ken's using a bit of a mixture of some general purpose compost together with a little bit of fertiliser just to give these beans an extra bit of a boost as they start to germinate. One of the big advantages of this is that when he's putting the bean in the ground you can actually choose which way up you plant it and that way hopefully they, when they do come up through they'll be nice and close to the bean sticks and we'll run up them nice and easily. So that's that job finished for the time being anyway. Uh, the sticks are up, they're secure, the beans are all in. Thanks to Dax for all his hard work and to Ken for helping him. And we now can't do anything except for wait for Mother Nature to take her course. <laughs>